then. Mm -hmm. On the weekly chart, just to review, you can see that the 2020 ascending trend line was pivotal in, in holding uh, Ethereum to the losses that it did. Obviously, we could have become more exposed and seen a test of the 50-week simple moving average, which was the case with a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies. In fact, many actually fell, fell below the 50-week simple moving averages. Turning to the daily chart, really the most important thing here is, is that we now we've run up into an area of price congestion uh, that corresponds with the May 20th high at 3,000 basically. You also have in here the May 26th high of 2,900. And then you have these highs here, which correlate to just about 2,900 as well in June 3rd and 4th. So we might see a little bit more residual buying pressure, but I suspect that the upside is going to be limited at this point, at least in the short term. I would say that from my perspective, we pretty much met the initial target. We discussed it, how breaking this upper trend line of the descending triangle we had formed, uh, there was really not much resistance after that. And we saw that here in a powerful move. In fact, over the previous 16 days, we've been up 15 of those. Uh, which is an impressive run to say the least. And we've it's returned about uh, 58% during those previous 16 days. So it's an impressive move and definitely due for consolidation. You can see that we also have a double tap on the RSI here. Once again, the, if it stays overbought, all the better, we go higher. But I suspect with this resistance, we're gonna see some type of pullback. We don't want to see any pullback go beyond this descending trend line here of the of the descending triangle, which comes in about give or take 2,384. That should hold on any pullback. Anything below that's going to find firm resistance at the 2020 trend line, which comes in about 2,277. And then of course the 50-day simple moving average, which is at 2,170, that's actually turned up now. So that's a bullish sign. So one of the things that a pullback would do would allow the 50 day to catch up and fully make the turn to provide additional support for the move higher. On the upside, really, if we strike, uh, strike a daily close through this area of resistance, particularly the May 20th high of 3,000, really there's no resistance after that until the all time high, which comes in at 43.84. So, I would say now that we're at a short-term inflection point for Ethereum, um, and the likely bias is is towards the downside or or sideways um, at best at this point. That's all. Okay. Yeah, I think that the declining trend line uh, was really good, and how it reacted off of it shows strength and the validity of that uh, trend line. Let me just share my screen. All right. So uh, one thing that I'm not liking about this Ethereum rally is that it came very close to dipping into this liquidity zone here, which ranges from 2860 to 3017. And it failed. It did not dip into this liquidity zone. So I think this is incomplete now. So. Uh, but still, we have this uh, MRI's uh, sell signal here in the form of a red one candlestick on the six hour time frame. So, uh, as we mentioned, like even for Bitcoin, it's at an inflection point. Uh, I'm expecting a pullback for Ethereum as well. Uh, we're going to form a double bottom here. Yeah. So, just comes down here, form a double bottom, and we could reverse here. Uh, but typically, I do not want it to go below this support level here. Uh, reject. Uh, re Saw rejection here after an attempt to move above it. Uh, rejection here, rejection here, rejection here, and a final rejection here before we finally blast it through it. Uh, so I don't want Ethereum to go below this, which is 2409 uh, or even the 50 fib, right? Like even if it goes below this briefly, if it picks down, uh, any, any close below the 50 fib here would kind of completely shift the trend and invalidate this bullish move that we've uh, made here. And this could probably lead to a consolidation uh, between these two support levels here, 2174 and 2271. Yeah, so I don't want that happening, but from a bullish perspective, 
is a minor retracement uh, to either of these three levels here, which is 2460, 2409, and 2345. And a reaction from this kind of uh, leads to a retest of the range high at approximately 3000, 3000 level. Uh, anything above it, I think we're going to test the, the low of this particular 12 hour green candle here, which is which comes around 3240. Right. So, hoping that it reverses the rally at around 2460, uh, we're looking at approximately a 30% upswing for Ethereum from a shorter time perspective. Nothing interesting is really happening from an launching perspective. So yeah, that's it for Ethereum.